Alright guys, you already know we back out here to make this money. Hope you all had a fantastic weekend. I actually had a good weekend this time aside from being sick. But yeah, it was pretty good. So, starting off today with an order on Senpex, picking up from Tire Shop. Uh, it's going 17 miles for $43. And the funny thing is, this order actually came up on freight and it's been sitting here for a while because I was waiting to see if they have like another order that's going in this direction or to the same drop-off location. So I think they canceled the order off of freight and put it onto Sandpex because on freight, the order was for $22. And I want Sandpex, it's for $43. I'm the one that got it, so I'm gonna get it. My 15 minutes went for the pickups, let's go. So I'm looking at Rody's map right now and I see there's a pickup from a place I picked up before that I actually gave my number to. I don't know if you guys remember, it was like a pallet of um, some wood or some building equipment. They have a roadie up here. It's going 244 miles for $246.59. But I can't pick it up because what they have going is like, it says it's three items, 500 pounds each. It's 132 inches long. That would not fit in here. It's five of them. So they're gonna have to wait for someone who has like a box truck to pick that up, but it's just crazy how I gave them my number so they can, you know, try to help them save some money, get some business for myself, but they don't use me. Oh well, it's all good. But I guarantee you, this order is going to sit here all day. And speaking of roadie, I actually just got a roadie order picking up from Walmart. It's probably a TV. Going 14 miles for 3081. Thank God I was actually going in the same direction because the uh, tire shop is in this direction. So let's go. Two three two nine. Okay, so I was wrong. It was two mattresses. My mistake. It's cool. I definitely did not read those dimensions, but usually it would have four items. If it says like two or four items and it's just one piece, it's usually a TV. So let's continue going to the tire shop. Alright. Mm -hmm. What's up? Four tires. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. All right, got 37 minutes to get to the tire drop off. Doing that one first because it's further away. Take the next left so. under Randolph. So I just got a last minute catering order on delivered. Uh, it's at two o'clock, and they're actually paying me a decent amount. They're paying me like 46, yeah, 46, 58 at two o'clock. So we're just going to a school. So yeah, we're gonna do that later too. I'm gonna try to get everything they got out of today. Okay, stop number one. Let's see somebody's here. Okay. Morning. I got four tires.
Take the picture off for? Uh, just do it, it's fine. No problem. All right, that's good. Hey, put my job on, sir. Okay, <laughs> have a good one. Thank you, sir. All right, 18 minutes to get to the road to drop. All right, finally here. Just gonna put them in the garage. No good way to hold this thing. Alright, that's it. Alright, next order is on freight, picking up from Lowe's. It's going five miles for $18. It's taking about 15 minutes to get there. Let's go. Okay, so we're here. Just run. No, I think it's my side. Uh, one zero zero. Yeah, nine zero one one zero eight. Sorry, I'm zero eight five. Two four one seven zero five seven zero seven. Seven zero five. Seven zero seven. Okay. Okay. I can, um, you want me to email? Yeah, you yeah, can give it to him. All right, load it up. 18 minutes to the door. It's 12 minutes to the drop, so let's go. Okay. You have to drop? Yeah, go out, sure. Alright, okay. right, guys, so I want to talk about this while it's fresh on my mind. And it's about all these last mile delivery apps. I honestly think Freight has probably the worst pay, the absolute worst pay out of all the apps that I do. Out of Rody, uh, Sempex, Freight, whatever other apps I do. Freight is probably the, the lowest paying app. Now I'm gonna explain why. This morning I had an had a order that was on freight. It was for what? $22, I believe. No one took it. It went away, it popped up on Sempex for $43. Right? The order I just took just now. If this had been on Rody or Sempex and it was another toilet, I probably would have gotten that order for like $25 to $31. But on freight, they gave it to me for $18. That's just crazy to me. So it's like, I'm really curious about how much money freight is keeping from these apps. Well, I think freight really needs to step the game up and pay these gig workers more because it's crazy how you can have one delivery on free and have the exact same delivery pop up on Sandbex and it's literally double the price. It will double the payout. It's not good. Freight gonna be losing a lot of business, a lot of drivers. And I'm gonna give you another example that I actually just saw just now. Sandbex had, an, had another order from the tire shop I picked up this morning. Going to Staten Island. I wouldn't. I don't like going to Staten Island, so I wouldn't take it. But they had it for forty-one dollars. Now that same order is on free, and it's for twenty-two fifty. The exact same order going to Staten Island. All right, guys, catering order time. So I'm picking pick up place is called Subology. The order costs three hundred forty dollars eighty-two cents. Uh, base fee of twelve dollars fifty cents. Tip of thirty-four dollars eight cents. 
Picking up 18 island items going 9.6 miles. About 10 minutes away from pickups. Let's go. So the two trays right there. Mm -hmm. And then I'll come back and pick the other one. Okay. Yeah, All right, 27 minutes to the drop. Let's go. Okay, so I'm here at the school, but unfortunately, couldn't get close to because there's an actual accident right here. <laughs> and the school's across the street. So we're going to do this one by one. Yeah, pull up next to an accident, y'all. Hello. Hi, it's for on Desiree. We're catering order. Yeah, the catering order from Subology. Cater yeah. order. Desiree Johnson. Uh, it's a lead charter school. Mm -hmm. uh, it might be, uh, where are you catering from? It's, it might be for victim assistance. Um, give, me, give me one second. Okay. Okay, okay so we get the right spot. So they finally moved that accident. Sorry if I move this? Sorry? Sorry if I move this? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, just got an order on Sandpex, picking up from a Lowe's, going 9.79 miles, call that 10 miles, for $40.02. Okay, so let's see if we pick a lot. A bathtub? No. Alright, I have a one more pickup. Okay. Number? Okay, give me one second. Okay. Uh, 100, mm -hmm. 901, 085, 241, 725, 837. All right, so they said they have 11 of those, some insulation crap. I think it's those big paintings I've taken before. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna pull it to the front. Make it easy for me to get it. And actually just got a roadie pickup, Home Depot, 11 miles, well, sorry, six miles for 11.87. I'm gonna pick that up right after I get this stuff. Yeah, because they don't read. Regular old phone. Yep. Can't even if they want it. We probably no, could. Make sure that he got a big enough call. Yeah. All right, so I don't know if you guys heard, but he said he had a bunch of people come up here to get this order in a bunch of cars. That'd be the funniest crap, man. All right. So we got about five minutes to get to the Home Depot pickup. Let's go. Yeah, I told my dad. Thank you. 
All right. Drop off for the Home Depot order 15 minutes away. After that, we're going to do this drop off, and that's probably going to be it for the day. Let's go. Okay, so this is some kind of recreational center. I have no idea where to take this, so I'm just going to go to the fishing center. See somebody there. Hi, I have this for Daniel. Oh, okay, he just left. Okay. Take that. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, good to go. Okay, that was right. All right, next drop is 28 minutes. Turn right onto Hobart. Okay, so we're here. Um, I guess I'm just put him over here somewhere, I guess. Okay. Yo, I really, really hate delivering insulation like that because it's like if that stuff gets on your skin, it is like it's constantly sticking you like a bunch of little needles. But that's all we got for today. I made a total of $190.68. Make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see y'all next time.